we're going to do a, a problem solving simultaneous linear equations by using the elimination method. And looking at these equations, I need to figure out how to get rid of either x or y. And here I'm faced with a situation that I cannot multiply either one of two equations by a single number and then add or subtract the two equations and eliminate either x or y. Here, I have a situation where I will have to multiply both equations by a number to accomplish that. So, here we can see that if I multiply the top equation by 3, I'll end up with a 6x. If I multiply the bottom equation by a 2, I'll get a 6x. And so there I can eliminate the x's if I make the coefficients the same in both, in both equations, which means I'm going to multiply the top equation by a 3 and the bottom equation by a 2. And since I like to add better than subtract, I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by a negative 2 so that the numbers will be the same in front of x except the signs will be different. All right, multiplying everything on both sides of the equation by a 3. For the top equation, I get 6x plus 9y equals 33. And in the bottom equation, I multiply both sides by negative 2, so I end up with a minus 6x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a plus 4y equals negative 2 times a negative 3 is a positive 6. Now I can see that if I add the two equations, the x's will be eliminated. So I'm going to do that. Add them together, x's are gone. 9y plus 4y, 4y is 13y, and 33 plus 6 is 39. And if I then divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the y, I get y equals, and 13 fits exactly three times into 39. So y equals 3. Now I'll go ahead and plug that value back into one of my two equations. It really doesn't matter which one. You can put in the first one or the second one. Makes no difference. So when I take that equation and I plug in 3 for y, what do I get? I move that equation over here. So I get 2x plus 3 times instead of y. I will write what y is equal to equals 11. And now I can solve this equation for x. So we get 2x plus 9 equals 11. Moving the 9 across, I get 2x is equal to 11 minus 9. 2x equals 2. And then you can see when you divide both sides by 2, I get x equals 1. So my solution, therefore, has to be, if I did everything correctly, x equals 1, y equals 3. So I can write that as 1 and 3. So that's the location, the point where the two lines cross with the x and the y coordinates. And just to make sure we did this correctly, we're going to plug in 1 and 3 into the other equation. So let's make, take the other equation right here, move it down here. We get 3x minus 2y equals negative 3. Plug these numbers for x and y into this equation, 3 times 1 minus 2 times 3, and see if that's equal to negative 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 2 times 3 is a minus 6. And yes, indeed, that is indeed equal to negative 3. So we can see that we did the equation correctly, or we solved the problem correctly. All right, so here's some good examples of how to use the method of elimination to solve simultaneous linear equations. As you can see, sometimes it's not straightforward. You'll have to multiply both equations by some number to make one of the variables have the same coefficient either opposite in sign or the same in sign. If they're opposite in sign, you can add them to eliminate the variable. If they're the same in sign, then you can subtract the two equations to eliminate the variable, and you get the exact same result.